Hey everyone, Sarian here, and welcome back to A Space for the Unbound. In the last episode, we gathered all the ingredients to make a very special chocolate cake for Raya, but in the end, the bakery owner wasn't able to make our cake. So now, uh, we need to convince the pastry chef to come back and bake that cake for us. With the help of space diving, which may or may not be ethical. Do I care? Perhaps not. Let's see here. There, uh, we need to sabotage the pastry chef's dreams. <laughs> Let's uh, get some chili oil. My Burning Comet special spicy chili sauce is the hottest thing you can find in Loka City. Can I ask for a sample of your special sauce? Huh, I thought you didn't like spicy foods. I, uh... Don't tell me, you're trying to impress Raya because she loves spicy food. She does? I didn't know. Damn, you lover boy. Take this and get out of here. Careful though, it's really spicy. Okay. Well, that was easy. We got the chili sauce. Uh, I think there's a... Whoa. Oh, look at you, tough guy. You're in my way. Catch these hands, you cocky bastard. <laughs> what the fuck? These guys are just a nuisance. Yeah, I think there's a bitter melon growing near the mosque that we can use. Ugh, that really hurt. Lame. So weird. And also the general store apparently has cooking oil that we can get for free if we know the password. Welcome kiddo, what can I get for you today? Eggs, cherries, and chocolate? No. Say the password. <sighs> well, there's no shame in trying. What if these cats just lied to us? Uh, Loka cooking oil. Best is the most purest cooking oil. You can even drink it. How did you... The password. Ding, ding, ding. The password is correct. Congratulations. You're eligible for free Loka cooking oil. In bulk. Uh, I just need one. I have to say it exactly like that, you know. The distributor is very fussy about it. Seriously? For free? That's generous of you. Terms and conditions apply. Container not included. Okay. Huh? I don't have a container for oil. Or even any money to buy one. Well, Wadma, times are really tough, huh? Well... But don't worry, don't worry. You might find a used container near the garbage area. The one at the edge of town? Yes, yes, that's the one. People keep throwing away useful things just because they're a little dirty. Just scrub it clean with water and you can use it again. I do it all the time. Mm. Just water? <laughs> Alright. Oh. Oh god, that's... These containers are probably caked in grease. Uh, how am I supposed to clean this? Maybe I don't. I don't know. I'm sure it's fine. It's just... It's just food in a dream, right? No one's actually eating it. Ugh. That container's filthy. I know it's not my problem, but I prefer to give away oil in a clean container. Okay. Well, we need to find water. Uh... Do I remember water being anywhere? Oh, hey. Excuse me, may I run this container under the water for a bit? Sure. Thank you. Alright. Now we're just missing one ingredient. Ah, 
Aha. I'll have to ask you first, probably. Oh, hello. Nice weather we're having, isn't it? Like, is this yours? I take that. This plant. Ah, you want some bitter melon? Bitter melon is so good for you. It's high in vitamin A and C and helps to reduce blood sugar and cholesterol. Some even say it might have cancer-fighting properties. Wow. Sadly, some people don't like it because of the bitter taste. I hate bitter melon. You can take one. I have a bountiful harvest this season. Thanks, lady. Alright. Like, if it was a... If it feels less bitter, I'd like it. But the only flavor is... It's literally just bitter. Okay, well, let's go back to the pastry shop. Greasy. Uh, what is that thing you put in my dish? Uh. <laughs> Blah, this is so oily. Do you want foreign powers to invade your plate, huh? Oh my god. But I. You're going home. No! Holy shit. Just evaporated him. My baking tool. There's still more to do, but at least I can use this. Only 30 minutes left. Thanks for this, I gotta run. Uh, you're making... What are you making? And then... Spicy, that's right. What are you doing? <laughs> ah, this is so spicy. Are you trying to kill me? No, it's... You're going home. No! <laughs> yes, this is just what I needed. Only 20 minutes left. Okay. Dim sum. In what world would dim sum be bitter? Are you trying to remind me of my marriage? <laughs> Wait, I... <laughs> I have all the tools. Just a little bit more. Yes, this is delicious. With this, I declare pastry as the winner. All right. That's right. I'm already doing a good job being a pastry chef. I really need to go back to the cafe. That's the last thing on the list. It's time to go back to Ria Cafe. Well, Admiral. You did it! The chef finally made up her mind. Let's get back to Ria Cafe and ask her to make the Black Forest Gateau. Got it. Alright. Go this way. No, I don't feel bad. Though I do wonder if we did the right thing or not. What? Oh, 
Oh, these losers. <laughs> Look at his face. Can't you all just buzz off and leave me alone? And please, learn to ride a motorbike properly and not like a drunken hooligan. I wonder when, whether he's a cowardly little mutt or a pathetic scaredy cat. Hey, you better watch yourself. <laughs> Ignore it, Atma. You have more important stuff to deal with right now. We've got all the ingredients and we convinced the chef to go back to work. You go in and order the Black Forest Ghetto. What about you, Admiral? I'll wait outside, keep my eyes on those ruffians. Hey. Look at this family reunion. Talk to the chef, she'll make you your cake. Okay. Uh, the cake is best eaten when it's been freshly prepared. Do you want me to bake the cake now, or... Uh, there's anything else you need to do? Mm. How does that tell me I need to do something else? No. Yes? No. We need that cake now. Besides, I don't feel like doing anything else. Waiting. Ring? What? Re? <laughs> huh? I'm sorry. Hey. I did horrible things. Horrible things? I'm really sorry, Raya. Hey, hey, Atma. Hmm? Wake up, here's your order. That was a dream? Hello, ground control to Major Sleepyhead. Oh, right, the cake. It smells amazing. Maybe that's what woke me up. It's done? It's a masterpiece. As requested, Rear Cafe's signature Black Forest Gatho. Whoa! That looks delicious! And the smell, it's heavenly. Amazing work, Chef. <laughs> Alright. My Chef. I'm so happy to have you back. I'm sorry for what I said. What I should have said is that... Your pastries are the pride of this cafe. And of course, you should be free to experiment with other cuisines. That's okay, Grandpa. I have to apologize, too. You're right, I love baking more than anything. I should concentrate on what I love. Oh, what a heartwarming scene. Well, I guess that's a compromise. Well, I have to give this cake to Ryan. Okay. Oh god, what is happening? What was that, a cat's yowl? Oh no, Admiral! No! What? Do not. No! Jeez, Eric, be more careful! You hit a cat. It's... it's not my fault, okay? It jumped out of nowhere and I was startled. Hey, isn't this the one Raya likes to pet? Crap, don't tell her. Hey! What the hell are you doing to Admiral? Wait. Ugh, her guard dog is here. Did you... You punk ass. Shut up. Oh shit. Oh, oh man. This is so messed up. She's gonna be so mad. 
cake. Sh she likes Black Forest cake, right? Uh, she'll forgive me if I give it to her. Uh... Atma? Atma, wake up. Uh... My head. What happened? Are you okay? Something really weird, something really strange is going on. It's almost like they, they know about Raya's control over the world. Marin? Kid, you remember my name. What are you doing here? I found you unconscious. Do you remember what you're supposed to be doing? The, the Black Forest Gateau. It's gone. Where is it? Admiral. Where's Eric? I, I need to stop him from hurting Admiral. No, you can't. Well, what do you mean? The only one you can save is Raya. What? Uh, what do you mean by that? Is something gonna happen to her? Atma, you should go there and be with her. I... Uh, I will. Very good. Now go. Uh, okay. Is this whole town even real? <laughs> What's going on? Oh, we gotta get back to the school, that's right. That's where Raya should be. And it's called the False Memory Syndrome. So that's what it's called. Uh, oh, Atma. Huh, it's pretty late. Why are you still at school? I don't have time to explain, sorry. Uh, Miss Neekin, where's Raya? You know Raya? Uh, what do you mean, Raya's my girlfriend? Oh, she's still in the classroom. She should be all right now. Uh, what happened to Raya? Thank you, Miss Neekin. Why... You, they're dating him and Raya? Yeah, you didn't know? No. That's... Huh. Weird. Raya! Are you okay? You're not hurt? Huh? I'm fine. I feel better already. Why do you look so panicked? Where have you been? I went out with Admiral to get you a Black Forest Gateau. And Eric, he... Admiral... Eric? What do you mean? You ring? What? Uh, okay. Raya, I came to apologize. I brought you a cake, your favorite. You snake, that's my cake. Shut up, mutt. This is between Raya and I. You, you aren't supposed to be here. Where's Admiral? Raya, you have to understand. You think that it's all my fault, but I didn't mean to do it. Just tell me where Admiral is. Come on, Raya. All of that happened so long ago. Can't you just forgive me? What? Wait, so long ago, what are you talking about? Raya, what is this? Where's Admiral? Get over it! Admiral's dead! Dead! No! Oh god. You should not be doing that. Raya? Raya? Don't 
don't come any closer. What? No, you get lost. I'm the one Raya needs. Get her name out of your mouth. Bring it on. Okay, final boss time. Ugh, since when you're any good in a fight? That hurts much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ugh. Catch this. What? Not again. Ah. Raya. Shoo. Atma, help me. No, I... She has to forgive me. I can't... It's killing me. You... You... You're in my way. Boss! Get her out of here. Yeah. What are you doing to her? You're hurting her. Stop it. No. You stop it. Raya has to forgive me. She has to. R Raya! What? It's happening again? Get away. I will never let you leave this place. The fuck is going on? Just pull out a book. Okay. This is... Am I in Eric's heart? What's going on here? It's different. Much bigger than any space dive I've done before. Why can't everything go back to how it used to be? It's not my fault. It is. You have to apologize properly. I didn't mean to kill the cat. Don't you get that? But what's done is done. Why can't you forgive me? She needs time. Try to be more patient next time. Please forgive me. You have to forgive me. <sighs> My voice cannot reach him as always. Big bro. Hey, bro, you over there. Come here, quick. Huh? You calling me? Yeah, you. It's dangerous around here. Come quick. Dangerous. What? What the hell? Hide here with me. What's going on? What are you doing in a cage? Why are the bars so big? You can just walk out. Uh, forget that. You need to be careful out here or those were dogs will catch you. Or worse. Huh? Whoa, worse? You mean... Those creatures have kept me locked up here for ages. They keep me hidden from everyone. What did you do? I don't know. One day they just came at me and... Uh, uh, hey, whoa, I'm, uh, I'm sorry, please don't cry. <laughs> there, there, it's okay. <laughs> Bro, you're so kind. These swear dogs, looks like they're the reason Eric's going berserk. I've been kept hostage here for a while now. I want to be free. I want my voice to be heard. Can you help me get out of this prison? I need to get to that door over there. Door? That big door over there. Well, what's behind that door? Freedom. If you can unlock this cage, I can go through it and be free. And those were dogs will be gone. Hmm, this prison. The lock is unbreakable. It's no use, Gallop Knight. You can't open it with force. But I do know where to keep the key. 
I saw one of the were dogs take it to a room on the far left. Room on the far left, huh? Got it. Please be careful. So. I do not want to be in that cage. Oh. This place is crawling with them. I'll have to be stealthy. I don't know what. I don't want to know what would happen if they spotted me. not actually like this. This gear is unique. It's bolted on though. I'll need a wrench to remove it. A wrench. Wah! Wah! Oh god. It's terrifying. Aha. This wrench looks handy. Let's take it. Shoot, what happened? Well, um... So, the statue is some kind of switch for the trap door. I should find something to replace the wrench. Something that suits this guy a bit better. Ah. box was bigger than I thought it was. What did that do? Oh, it stopped them. Okay. Yeah. Whoa. Arr, why didn't it come out right? A stupid black force kato. I won't leave this kitchen until I can bake the perfect cake. It's for Raya after all. For Raya? Is that key for the prison? I have to pull that pulley down and get the key, but how? I should prepare the batter first. <laughs> this machine is connected to the pulley. Got it. Uh, where are... Oh, there's a bone. Okay. Okay, mix your ingredients to form a batter. Don't forget to add some sweetness. Treat your leaven oven to 180 degrees and bake. Okay. Could use more sugar. There it is. Uh, 
180. I'm sure we'll have to help this guy out. is way too loud. I hope that dog won't hear. You slippery tomcat. Oh no. That was risky. I should be careful. I can't get the key until the were dog's out of here. Okay. Well, I guess we gotta do the cake first. Sugar. What the heck? All right, maybe it's it's back there. Aha! Sugar may be useful. the right amount. Not too tart, not too sweet. <laughs> arf, arf. It's sweet already. Let's bake it. Please don't be burnt. Arf, arf, arf. Get it! <laughs> Arf -ho -ho. The Black Forest Gato for Rai is done! Woof -ho. If I bring her her favorite cake, she has to forgive me, right? I have to hide. are gone. Good. I don't have to play hide and seek again. But something isn't right. It's a trap. I... I'm finally free. I always wanted to be a knight. Strong, brave, mighty. But now I know there's more to bravery than strength and raw power. Admitting your mistakes also takes bravery. Thank you for helping me. I'm finally free. I'm free to admit my mistakes, to sincerely apologize, to move forward. Let's go, gallant knight, through yonder gate. Okay. But everything looks wonky. We're almost out, Gallant Knight. Just a few more steps. Okay, let's go. You forgive me. I swallowed my pride and made you this cake, but why? What did I do wrong? Um, hello? <laughs> you? Why? You? How? Please let us go. 
Yes, please let me out of here. No, no, no. I've already embarrassed myself by making this cake. If I let you go now, I couldn't handle the added shame. Why is that? Because the, the Eric they know, the Eric they're afraid of, would be gone. Everything would be ruined. No, it wouldn't. A real friend doesn't care about how tough you pretend to be. I'm you too, don't forget. We're the same. <sighs> Shut up, brat. You're pathetic, weak, and feeble. I'm nothing like you. Watch out. You'll be free. Over my dead body. There he comes. Fileware dog. You weak little sh- My punch barely made a dent in him. Why do you ha want to keep me locked up in here? What? Are you afraid of me? Oh, afraid? You- He hesitated, it's working. Keep at it, Gallant Knight. I'll try talking to him. Ah. You. Ah. Silence. Shut up, I don't want to hear it. Ah. Cut this out already. I just want to talk. This is how men talk, Brad, with their fists. That's not true. Oh god. Oh god. The pain that you're feeling, Raya feels it too. I know that already. Why? Why do you keep bothering me? I don't mean to intrude, I just want to talk. It's just, you've been kind of a pain in the ass lately. Making trouble for the people in town, for father, for yourself. Shut up. Even Raya. Shut up! All this humiliation just because of that stupid cat. That cat meant a lot to Raya. Urgh. I already said I was sorry. Really? Are you really sorry for Raya? Or for yourself? Uh, enough. I'll teach that chatty mouth of yours a lesson. I won't let you do that. Phew. Shut your mouth. What gives you the right to talk to me about Raya? You don't know anything. You're just a locked up brat. So set me free. Let me reach out to her. She'll listen to me. Uh, please? No, never. Everything I do, I do for her. This is a man's way of showing her how I feel. What's the point? You aren't showing her anything. She's not getting it. You can't even say the word out loud, right? What? Be honest with her, no more acting tough. Enough about manliness. Urgh. Oh shit. A man should never... Uh, talk about that. Romance crap. But you care about her, right? We always have. Let me do it. Free me and I can talk to her. Aren't you afraid? I am, but I want to see her happy. See her happy? Ah. Rough. I wonder if Eric and Raya were dating before all this. Where once there had been a cowering puppy, there now stood an arrogant were dog. It's another fairy tale?
He's gone. He let me go. I'm free. I'm free. Hey, wait. I'm free. I'm finally free. Uh... We're gonna talk about this. What's with these pictures? They're all of Raya. Creepy. Dream? What was her name? Nirmala? What? Huh? What? What are you doing to him? Bosk. Ah, oh, shed, not you. Yes. Uh, I... What? Uh, uh. Eric? What the fuck is happening? Oh, no. Oh no. Nirmala did something to Eric in the space dive, and now he's a were dog out here. I can't let this happen. Eric, hear me out. I know you want to be better than this. Urgh. Come on, Eric. Change back to your normal self. You don't have to be a were dog. Urgh. Stop! You okay? I, 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 I'm sorry, Raya. It's all my fault for teasing you. For I should have ridden more carefully. It's my fault that your cat. Shut up. Huh? What the fuck? Raya? What? What did you do? Where's Eric? You fucking killed him. He's dead. What? No, he won't hurt anyone else. for the cake, my favorite. Raya. You want some Atma? Uh... Hmm? Why the long face? R Raya, I... Ah. You gotta be fucking with me. Uh. 
Uh, well, I, I guess that's it for this episode. <laughs> Uh, I, I don't really know what to say, but, um, I guess I'll catch you in the next episode. Also, I'm not sure why Nirmala was in Eric's space. We've been looking for answers, but I keep getting more questions. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please remember to take care of yourself today, and I'll see you in the next episode. Take care. <laughs> Bye.